welcome to the World Tarot. This is the series Divine Masculine Diaries for the 8th of July 2021. Divine Masculines watching this video, please focus on my card so I can get the most accurate messages you need to hear on the 8th of July 2021. Universe, please guide the Divine Masculines who need to hear these messages the most to watch this video so they can get the clarity they need. Who are the Divine Masculines who need this reading the most on the 8th of July 2021? Let's describe the Divine Masculines who need the, the reading the most. Let's describe them, let's describe their situation and then let's get uh, some advice for them. Please help me channel the most accurate advice they need for their highest good, please, 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 and others' highest good too. Universe, please help me describe the Divine Masculines who need to hear these messages the most. Who are they? Let's see, who are they? Let's help them out. <sighs> who are they? Universe, God, Goddess, my higher self, help me out here. Who are the... Okay, that was quick. Two of Swords, Libra. Not necessarily, it could be Taurus too. Someone who might have like uh, strong Venus placements too. Um, yeah. Seven of Cups. This is Pisces. Five of Pentacles reversed. Uh, this is, I think it's Capricorn. No, it's Taurus. I don't know. It's an Earth sign. <laughs> Nine of Swords. Okay, Air again. Okay, so we've got mostly air, some water, and some earth. Okay, so someone needs to make a decision in love. And that means that they need to leave someone out in the cold. And that's causing them a lot of anxiety. They feel bad about it, yes. Okay, I've got the two of wands on the bottom of the deck. So they're contemplating, they're trying to make a plan about how to offer this love, to make a love offer. Okay, so what do they need to know about this situation? How should they go about this? King of Wands in the upright. They should be brave. They should take action. They should take the bull by the horns. I don't know why I wanted to say that because I was thinking of Taurus earlier. Um, Ten of Cups in the upright. Well, yeah, because, you know, if they want emotional fulfillment, they need to take action. That's kind of what I'm getting. That's pretty straightforward. Oh my God, I have a reading, another reading that's pretty straightforward because the feminine reading for today is also very good. Oh, yay. It's something in the air. I've noticed, I've seen other readings that uh, for other readers who get got positive readings and I'm like, whoa, what's happening? Is there a shift happening here? Because I'm, uh, I'm surprised that I'm getting such positive energy in my cards because uh, especially the last few uh, Divine Masculine uh, readings, they've been horrible. Like I could barely understand what was happening. It's like... Maybe it's darkest before the dawn, I don't know. It could have been that some masculines were really going through the dark night of the soul and I was getting a lot of negative energy in my cards. And now maybe they've seen the light somehow. Maybe they, you know, because like I said, indeed, it's darkest before the dawn. Sometimes you feel like you're never going to heal because you've put in so much effort and nothing's moving. And then boom, it happens quickly because I, I felt that before too. That's how it happens usually. So I feel like that's why the last few readings in the last few weeks, the, the energy has been very heavy, very negative. And it's like the, the fog has lifted now. Okay, good. So yeah, so some people are definitely awakening, healing. Two of Cups, as I said, healing. Two of Cups, uh, you know how in the Two of Cups there's the caduceus between those, the big caduceus between the two people. I keep making a heart there, but it's a caduceus, whatever. Um, healing between two people. There's going to be healing between the masculine and the feminine. 
sides of ourselves obviously but that will help us heal relationships with the opposite sex too so yeah ten of wands some burdens are exactly the fog has lifted the burdens are dropping exactly king of pentacles reversed why is the king of pentacles reversed oh because of the fool and the ace of pentacles someone's gonna be very generous queen of wands maybe someone's um letting go of control issues because the the king of pentacles could be a bit controlling especially but the thing is especially in the reverse okay someone may have had a lack mentality but they're okay five of pentacles king of pentacles reversed here like I said, someone may have had a lack mentality and they're letting go of this lack mentality. So they can have a new beginning and they can manifest more abundance and they can offer something to the feminine. Queen of Wands, King of Wands and the, the Ace of Cups here and the Ace of Wands. So the, King of, so the King of Wands is coming with his heart here. His heart has opened and now he can offer something tangible, something solid to the feminine. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Queen of Pentacles. Okay, we've got King and Queen of Wands, King and Queen of Pentacles. The problem is that the King of Pentacles is in the reverse. Nine of Pentacles is in reverse. There are some financial issues here. Four of Wands reversed. Ace of Swords reversed. What's happening? Is there a third party here? I just feel, because I don't feel like there's a third party. I feel like these are like the two counterparts and two sides of, of each of these people is there a third party though queen of swords reversed no there's not i think there was some kind of breakup yeah there was a breakup in a marriage that's why uh, we have these uh the four of wands in reverse and all this stuff here Okay, um, let's get more clarity. What's happening here? Four of Cups reversed. Someone's getting over rejection. There could have been like um, either the masculine or the feminine rejected the other or they rejected each other and they need to get over this first. King of Swords reversed. Look at that. Okay, so um, yeah. King of Swords reversed. So we've got King of Wands, Queen of Wands. King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. King of Swords, Queen of Swords. So the problems are between the two of them. The, it, there isn't a third party. Uh, these are the two counterparts, but they had a lot of issues. And uh, it could be that the masculine rejected the feminine. You see how the feminine is looking towards the masculine. There's the Four of Cups in the middle. So it's possible that the masculine rejected the feminine in this case, but now they're coming back because they've awakened five of swords there could have been a big argument a big fight that ended this relationship here and uh, someone may have felt like they were someone had an en empty victory there was some kind of argument and someone had an empty victory and someone was rejected and um, that's what ended the connection yes okay i got it finally right okay so, if you want this, it's happening, it's yours. Divine Masculine, if you want to offer the olive branch here, then it's gonna happen for you. Seven of Wands reversed, it's like putting the guard down. I feel like you need to put the guard down and this person will also put their guard down when you do. If you offer them something, they, they won't reject it, they won't block it. There might even be, uh, there might be crying. It, it might be very like an emotional kind of uh, situation. So will your offer be accepted? Will Divine Masculine's offer be accepted? King of Cups in reverse, that's like a no. Six of Cups. 
no i i feel like they will accept it but there's gonna be crying with the king of cups reverse someone was gonna maybe even you you mo both might cry you might end up crying uh, but this person will accept it with the six of cups here in the upright okay so yeah this can be super emotional it's like the dam is breaking you know because the king of cups in the upright has a very good way of keeping his feelings to himself but in the reverse is like he can't anymore and he's gonna cry because i was already getting crying with the five of cups here but it's gonna be happy it's gonna be a happy recon reconnection here and you possibly loved this person for a long time is there anything else we need to know about this reconnection Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, you you both uh, you'll put in the effort. Both of you will put in the effort. You'll manifest something good. Three of Pentacles. Yeah, you'll work together. It's good. Okay, thank God. Okay, I don't even want to continue the reading anymore. It's super short, but it's uh, sweet. There you go. There's your uh, reading for today. I hope this helps. Have a good day. Take care. Bye.